oftentimes am in my office and I am really overloaded with work, as we are many people like this. This is when the stress and mind come and I am lost. How can I overcome this, Muji? It seems like I have a strong identity that my mind needs to be quiet. Then I can be peaceful. With infinite love and gratitude, Marek. Don't wait for your mind to be quiet. As you are made aware of your natural state of being by not getting entangled in the mind stuff and stay like I'm doing now and I'm going to do it with you right now even as I'm speaking there's nothing you have to do this is the wonderfulness of consciousness whatever resonates resonates Understanding is taking place naturally. You are simply here. Pay attention just to notice just the sense of being. It's no big deal. I'm not telling you to do something complex. You are already the state of being, you see. It's not going to come in from somewhere. It is already here. The reason why we doubt it is because much of the time, we give our energy to paying attention to the mind. And it is as though the mind sucks all your energy and push you, pull you into personal identity and send you on all these journeys to go and this, to do this and do that and do that. So now, as you are here with me also, when I say, stay as you are, don't touch any mind stuff, any intention, even the intention to wake up to the Self. Just remain empty for the moment like that. You can hear my voice. Don't even try to become being. It is already. Simply you are here. And when you allow yourself to not Get entangled with the mind stuff, don't log into its energy, then everything nicely begins to slow down by itself. By itself. You are noticing just the space of being. And it is so natural, because it is so natural, you don't give it any importance. Because it is so effortlessly natural. The mind is trying to make you into some spiritual doer. Oh, you have to do this and stop doing this and get rid of this and become this and all these things. You don't. Just pay attention to your natural being. Now you can do. It is just here. And even if some thoughts come and say, but that cannot be anything. I've done this before. Nothing happens and all this stuff. Let the chatter go on, but don't engage with it. The more you practice this, which is to let the mind chatter, but don't give the attention to it. Just stay empty of that. In the beginning, it might feel like there's a reflex to engage with the mind, but gradually you get better at staying out of it. Don't get into any street fight with your mind or, or, or accept any of its promises. Just stay as you are, empty for a moment. Don't touch any thought or any intention. Please remember this that I'm telling you. Don't pick up any thought to do something or to change anything or any wishes Oh, I wish I could get rid. Don't do any of this. Just stay like this. Just be one with the natural sense of being. And if you don't go with the mind, this is radical, by the way. It seems even revolutionary. Revolutionary simple. You're staying as you are. And you see all the energies that were 
like dust particles in the space of the mind begins to just settle, just settling down in your noticing. You are not settling them down. You are already settled. And all the noise of the mind is slowing down inside the beingness itself. This is very natural, very natural. Then what? Then nothing. You are simply here. You can watch a thought may pop in. Oh, it's time to go and do this. But you notice it's just a thought. It is just a thought. The more you pay attention to the natural and simple quality of being, the more your discerning ability becomes sharpened. These are simple things. And it bears fruit immediately. This peace of being remains with you. Sometimes you feel like you are caught off guard. And suddenly there is this mind storm and identity. Again, stay just as you are again. And as many times as the mind might appear to be attacking, equal number of times come back to this place I'm pointing to. Simply come and stay here. It may seem to be an oversimplistic advice, but it works every time. What you are doing, what are you doing? It will not feel like much, or it might feel like too difficult also. But what you what is happening? is that you are allowing yourself to recognize and be conscious of your being. This is true self-consciousness. It's being self-aware. And that is your fundamental power, being self-aware. Don't think you have to go and study lots of books and put a lot of, lot of uh, you know, concepts in your mind. That just feeds into the mind very often. Follow this simple advice. Why follow this simple advice? Because it's not difficult for you to change the quality of the, the mind consciousness, simply by abiding like this. And you will see the more you do this, the more established you become inside the heart energy. And from here, you will see that life, your outlook, your energy vibration changes, it becomes much more uh, soft, more spontaneous, light, open, fearless. Please follow this. For years and years and years, I am sharing these things, and it is just as fresh today. Stay with it. If you listen and you follow, tomorrow you can show me the fruits of your understanding. This is how effective, and I stand by what I'm sharing with you. I'm not telling you, well, I hope to see you in six months and they can show me your progress. No, tomorrow you can show me your progress. This is how confident I am about it, and how much I know the truth of who you are beyond the superficial, personal, changeful appearances. This is the fundamental nature of consciousness. Okay? So. Thank you. Sometimes you may have heard me say, when we can be together like this and impart simple pointers that are grasped inside the heart, you may have heard me say, you are the seeds of awakening in a sleeping world. But these seeds must become mighty trees. This happens very, very naturally. When the seed is in a good place, when it has water and light, everything is automatic. Your growth in understanding largely is automatic. It is not to do with how much mind power you put to things. Therefore, I have not asked you to learn to visualize or imagine anything. It is not needed. 
clear, sober understanding, applied pointings, is already fruitful and potent. Stay with this, and it will stay with you.